In this video, I'll go through the steps required to enable Azure Active Directory authentication on a React.NET Core web application. To complete the steps, you'll need a copy of Visual Studio as well as an Azure account. So we're going to start by opening Visual Studio and creating a new project. We're going to create an ASP.NET Core web application. Click Next. I'm going to choose the React.js type of uh, .NET Core web application. OK, so once the project is created, I'm just going to run that. So this is the Hello World homepage of the web application that has just been created. Uh, the content isn't that important for this tutorial. What we want to do is create a sign-in function for this web app so that when the web app runs, we don't see this page initially. We see either a login page or if we've already logged in previously uh, because of single sign-on, it'll take us straight into this page and we'll see um, a username here with an option to sign out. So the first thing we want to do is install a few packages. We'll do that by opening uh, the developer command prompt. And there are three packages. The first one Microsoft Graph Client. Next one is Azure MSAL Browser. And finally, MSAL. Once the packages have completed installing, I'm going to create a file within client app SRC folder and components folder. So add new item. I'm going to create a JavaScript file. I'm going to call it graph data. I'm going to copy some of the code from a pre-existing file. Um, I'll put links to these files in the description so you don't need to type everything out. So that's graph data. Uh, then going back to SRC, I want to create a folder called graph. In here, create a JavaScript file. Hold graph service. I'm 
create another folder within SRC. MSAL. Call this file MSAL auth provider. JavaScript file called msal config. Now in the msal config file, you'll need to add the authority and the client ID, both of which can be obtained from your Azure account. Uh, the authority follows the format of https login.microsoftonline.com slash and then your Azure tenant name.com. And the client ID is whatever the um, app registration client ID is. So you can obtain these from your Azure portal and then just copy and paste them in here. I want to go into app.js. I want to make a few changes. Yeah, I'm just going to paste some code in here. So what's this doing is it's importing graph data and the authorization provider that we've created. Um, and it's also creating a path to the graph data, which will allow us to sign in and sign out. Just save that. Uh, going to index.js, we just need to put some curly braces around app. to open up components now and create another file, another JS file called user login. So this component will give us some functionality around the on-click event. I want to go into navmenu.js. Uh, we want to make a reference to the user login component. this within the navigation bar. Uh, finally, going to layout. Just need to make a reference to Okay, so with all that in place, we can run the web app and see what happens. So now when the web app runs, it doesn't automatically go to the Hello World homepage. It promises to pick an account and uh, once an account is picked, enter the password. Okay, 
So once we've logged in, we can now see the Hello World homepage. We can also see that we've logged in as a user. In this case, the, uh, the user is called admin user. I'm going to hover over that, sign out. Maybe try to log in with an account that isn't part of our Azure Active Directory. See that sign in is blocked. So it's only going to allow anyone to sign in if they have um, uh, an Azure account, Active Directory account, or if they have an Outlook or Hotmail account that is uh, that we've added to our um, Azure Active Directory. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, uh, please put them below, and uh, I hope this has helped you out. Thanks.